And we are back for a part two of the Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks. We're going to go right into it with some stuff I didn't show you in the last video, obviously. Arachnophobia. Really cool truck. Got a spider tampo on the front. Awesome web and spider scene. Some cool skulls on the side there. With spiders crawling all around. An awesome looking truck for sure. Not a bad way to start the video. Another one. Wrecking crew. Cool wrecking ball coming in. Some chains. Nice yellow color with red lettering. Definitely going to wreck some things with that truck. Oh, I spot a couple critters. I believe that's the Nitro Hornet. And coming up next to him is the Crustacean. Those are some newer ones there. Cool looking for sure. Uh, what else do we have in here? We have the Eliminator. Another one in that Cadillac looking vehicle. What would you even call that? It's almost a fantasy casting, but at the same time, I'm sure it actually is after a real car put on monster tires. Awesome looking color combination. And another cool truck right here. Spike. One of the dogs. Tropical Thunder. It's our next truck we're looking at. I love the color combination on there. Classic old truck, but in newer color. Right here's another old one. SWAT. I like that. Really cool looking there. Real heavy. Coming up next to him is the Donut Patrol. Great looking police fantasy vehicle. Big old engine sticking out of the top. And what do we have next? Sudden Impact. It's a little bit different from what I would know Sudden Impact to look like. Still awesome looking. And then we have Martial Law. Nice dark blue color on the rims and the body. Looks great together. Uh, what do we have here? Shattered. That's cool looking with the blue blending into the yellow like that. Awesome. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? Thrasher. Not quite sure. Did we th show him off in the last video? Not sure. There's Thrasher. Awesome looking. Classic. We have another critter. Shark Wreck. Cool looking with the white wheels to match. Over to the top. We have Medusa. Another truck from back whenever I was a kid. Remember seeing that one quite frequently. Cool truck right there. Suzuki. Nice heavy truck. Awesome looking. Two variations of this truck. We'll go ahead and show you the older one first. The Scarlet Bandit. It's, uh, Jim Creighton's wife was the driver of this truck. He was the driver of Bounty Hunter and she was the driver of Scarlet Bandit very nice truck here's the newer version in a more pink rather than red looking color still cool though I see a cool one right here Lone Eagle it's a nice old one only have one of these not sure if it was a short run on those or what metal base like all the artwork on there at the flag and the stars. Looks great. Oh, I see a cool one. War Wizard. Randy Moore, driver of that truck, if I remember correctly. 
Very, very cool Willie's design on that truck. Great artwork there of that wizard. With a big old battle axe. Let's see if we can get that to focus in on there. Looks great. It's like we might be getting down a little bit lower now. There's that Jurassic Attack again in a nice blue. Put him to the side. Oh, and there's Scott Hartsock's truck, the Gunslinger, as we talked about in the one video. The Cowboy was his teammate's truck. The Gunslinger goes back to the early 2000s. It's a great, great truck in terms of racing and freestyle. It was a wicked looking one. Time flies. That's cool looking. Definitely cool looking. I see a few doubles in here. There's two of the Hot Wheels monster truck. Plastic base and metal base. Two different variations right there. And another arachnophobia. Let's move that off to the side. As well as these awesome glowing looking trucks. Love that color on there. I see two again. The Annihilator. And another cool looking color variation. It says Annihilator on the front there as well as the side. Nice shiny rims. Oh, this one looks very similar. Here's that Titus truck again, but with that piece on the back that says Hot Wheels. As you see, that one's pretty worn too from playing Playwear. This truck, I believe, is just the same design. Pillage Idiot. Looks just like the um, He-Man Masters of the Universe truck from the early 2000s. Which I believe I have sitting right here. I can pull it over and give an example of how similar those vehicles are. There you go. This one's in kind of rough shape, missing the two pieces on the side, unfortunately, but... You know, from being from the early 2000s, what can you ask for? At least I have the vehicle. Alright, we'll dig down in there and find one of my favorites. Brutus. Chris Bergeron, I believe, was the name of the guy that drove this truck. Him and Jim Kohler had a great time with the Avenger truck. Tearing it up, just, uh, they were good buddies from the looks of it from TV and uh, seeing them in person as a kid they had a great time driving trucks in the same arena together there's another example I saw him roll it I have a picture a big old uh, picture frame of Brutus on his lid we got to see a monster truck show in Cleveland I believe it was I was just a young lad here's another cool one the captain's curse Definitely a cool vehicle there. Got to see that. Not in person, but obviously on TV at the World Finals. Free, excuse me, 2007 Freestyle Champion. Getting down there, gotta speed this up. There's so many to go through. U.S. Air Force Afterburner. Remember that truck. Always got a... Salute our people that are in the line of service and any any branch got to salute those people Here's Nitro Circus Another awesome looking truck and like all the Colors and stars and things on there great looking What else can we dig out of there? See the Eradicator And next to him El Matador with an awesome I forget what these are called riveted looking wheels the red around them those are two awesome looking trucks and up next just talking about them there's Jimmy Creighton and the Bounty Hunter great truck great performances at the World Finals and these two, I believe these aren't even uh, Hot Wheels branded, but these are just Spider-Man trucks. This one's the Venom truck, and that one would have been the regular Spider-Man, if I remember. Just some cool trucks I played with when I was young. 
Uh, what do we have here? Bad news travels fast. I have a, cute, a few different variation, variations of that truck. Here's a newer orange variation, and that being the classic one right there. Awesome truck. Remember playing with it very well. Here's another one. Rolling Thunder. Great looking tampos on the truck there. Some flames and um, lightning. Could all be lightning. Uh, another time flies. Cool looking truck there for sure. Here's a cool one. Taz. You know that Adam Anderson, uh, Dennis Anderson's son, drove that in 2007 era, I believe, a little bit earlier. And some other people took that over. Great truck, great looking truck in uh, diecast form. Oh, there's a cool one right there. Excalibur. That is a classic monster truck right there. Just recently saw that old school video of them trying to back into a lake, try to get it to float, and it just completely turned upside down and floated just like this. At $100,000 down the drain. Terrible, terrible loss there. Alright, this one's going to be cool. We have the Orange Avenger. The Red Avenger. The light green, lime green Avenger. And I know there's another one in here somewhere. When I can find it. I know we showed off some in that last video. Oh, there's another one. Silver Avenger. A great metal base on that truck. And last but not least. The Dark Green Avenger. This used to be an S10 before he went ahead and went with this uh, body design. I forget what this one is. Great looking though. Uh, there's another truck. Obsession. Great looking. Also, like the orange and the blue color together. Looks great. Uh, newer version of King Crunch. Like all the stuff on there, almost playing card style. Next, the Iron Outlaw. Remember, Lindsey Wink was the driver of that truck. Used to send it all the time for sure. It's one of the trucks you can really noticeably see the power difference through those years. Oh, I see a couple duplicates I've already shown. There's another Taz. There is another Robots truck. Uh, here's a different one. The Rap Attack. I think Dave Rapage. Rapage was the last name of the man. I forget what his first name was. Dan, I believe. It sounds more familiar. Uh, he was the driver of this truck. Saw him in a lot of smaller venues. Smaller stadium events. Awesome truck, for sure. Uh, here's another one. The Full Boar. Nice yellow with a bull. bull. Almost said bull. <laughs> A boar on the side there, giving it the gas for sure. Some tires on there. It looks really cool. I believe I've seen that truck in person before as well. Oh, here's another cool version of the Broker. Same as the last one almost, just different colors. We're making a pile back there. Almost looks like a monster truck graveyard. Here's a cool newer one, Riveted. Tearing up all those cars. Awesome looking with that big old engine sticking out of the top. Still going. There's another Suzuki truck. Great Bite. That's an awesome looking one. I showed a smaller version of this. This is the bigger one. It's still metal based. Awesome looking truck. For sure. Oh, here's the cool Bone Shaker. Classic Hot Wheels car right there, but in monster form. Western Renegade. Nice title to that truck and a nice look to it also. What else do we have in here? Quite a lot to go still. 
Another example of the full bore. Got that bore on the side there, giving it the gas again. Big old Ford. What we have here, anger management. Awesome looking truck, again. Speaking of awesome looking, here's another cool one. The special delivery. Very cool truck. Working our way down through here. And what is next? We have the Destroyer, Dan Evans. Gotta pull that reverse move. He was well known for that. Coming in just like this over the trucks. Or not trucks, excuse me, over the cars with this truck. Very notable move. Very enjoyable to watch. Great way to blow out a rear axle though. Next truck, all the way from Canada, Northern Nightmare. You see the Canada Leaf there? Very cool looking truck. They do monster trucks a lot more places than just the United States, believe it or not. Here's a cool one. Power Forward. Nice old one, metal base. I love the orange color on that one. And a newer one, the Iron Man. Same with this one, newer one, the Stone Crusher. Nice Neanderthal on there. Getting ready to bash something with his club. And Iron Man, obviously, after the superhero. Oh, I see another cool one in there. Donkey Kong. Even has his tie hanging down. Cool. And next, we have the Dragon's Breath. And coming up behind Dragon's Breath, Blacksmith. Cool version of Blacksmith right there. Shockwave is our next truck coming up. Awesome looking yellow color on there. Nice heavy metal base again. Man, we have a pile going, don't we? Um, we've already seen these two. I believe I showed Obsession. If not, there's Obsession. I think, yes, we did look at him. And here's not one, but two examples of the Freedom Force. Cool patriotic look on this truck. Nice eagle on the front there. Oh, we, I can see the bottom. We're getting down there. We have another Airborne Ranger. Pull him up onto the cars. Airborne Ranger coming in behind him. Or next to him, rather. The Rambo. Great American flag. Decal on the front. Rambo on the side. Metal base. Same with the Airborne Ranger is a metal base. Truck. And we're just tearing up those cars now. Here comes Utter Madness, kind of like the special delivery truck, it's a bit different. And this truck right here, I believe it says Raisin Cane. Not 100% sure, I kind of don't even remember that truck to tell you the truth. Plastic base newer and here's the new version of the backdraft truck I prefer the old look for sure kinda too flashy with those rims another rolling thunder and coming in after the rolling thunder is the felon scary eyeball remember I had the real big version of this truck I used to play with at my grandparents house back in the day Oh, we already showed this truck, and this truck, and this truck, and that truck, and this truck, and that truck. A lot of duplicates going on, but here's one to show off. Tom Mentz's Maximum Destruction. One of my favorites for sure. You always knew whenever it was Gravedigger's time and Maximum Destruction's time that it was going to be absolute chaos out there on the floor. These drivers of these trucks were just absolutely amazing. I loved seeing that truck in person. I believe I did once 
Grave Digger more than once. Here's another Pastrana 199 truck. Here is the Live Wire truck. Oh, here's a kind of a weird looking one. Prime Evil. Weird looking, huh? Tell me what that is. Is it supposed to be like an ape of some sort or an alien? What would you think it is? Screaming Demon is our next truck. We've got two examples of that. I think they're both the same, but very cool looking truck. Red chassis. Alright, we got probably a dozen more to go here. The Michigan Ice Monster, another old, old one there. Newer casting, but old truck in history. Here comes Tough Enough. That's a cool truck. A little bit different. Metal base. Who's coming in next? We have another example of Rolling Thunder. That one looks cool. And the shockwave truck again to match the one that's already thrown in there. Another of the gunslinger truck. American Dream. That's a cool looking truck. Metal base, real heavy. Blue chassis. Very, very cool. We have here Storm Damage, another vehicle from the smaller arena type of monster truck shows a uh, cool example of sudden impact definitely different and here's another version of the aftershock truck a little play worn but very cool looking let's see what else we have down in here we have crazy train is that you Ozzy? Uh, it's just a joke. Crazy train. Cool looking vehicle. And another version of the Excalibur truck. Some flames on this one. Looks a little different. Oh, another cool one. The Virginia Giant. Very cool looking. Another American Guardian truck. The cool bald eagle on the front. Another American Dream. Cool truck there. Alright, we're getting down there. We're getting down there. Another Maximum Destruction truck with the plastic base this time. Uh, another Virginia Giant. And it looks like our last one from this bin, after this one, who, sadly, we don't know who this one was, but it's got a metal base. Whenever I find that top, I'll figure it out. Last one, King Crunch. Another cool-looking variation there. Gotta love it. Well, thank you if you stuck around for the whole video to go over all these trucks was definitely fun that bin had quite a lot in there had to make it a two-parter but it was well worth it huh stay tuned for more videos if you enjoyed it give it a like subscribe share it around ask for more there'll be more just like this little surprise here behind that short card there's a rev up grave digger right there That'll be a whole nother video is all the rev up trucks. Got a good little amount of those. So be safe, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.